do not quote us on this, but this is just what we've heard from our insiders that we have that personally work in UFC. If that happens, right, that is history in the making. That is going to be next level. I'm not going to speak what I think about the fight because it's too early. But... What's up, MMA Amateurs? How you guys doing? We're back at it with another episode, another banger episode, and another another banger card. I mean, if you guys did not watch this week's card, this weekend's card was amazing. It was fireworks. Now let's get into this video. Starting off, I wanted to have, you know, talk about some on, uh, honorable mentions. Yasmin Jauregui, I think that's how you say her last name. She's fighting out of Mexico. She was a dog, and uh, the girl that was against her was Yasmin Lusando. Um, that fight was a banger. I mean, you know, this was their debut. So you could tell that they were there to make a statement, and they did. It was a banger fight. They were throwing back and forth. And, I mean, not, like, going into there, not knowing who they were, like, now I know who they are. So it was an amazing fight. Do not sleep on them. I feel like their future is going to be bright. Um, I know Yasmin, she won by decision. And uh, keep an eye on her. I, I can honestly see both of them maybe ranked one day at that 125 division. Moving on to the co-main event. I mean, it was a banger fight, man. I mean, it was like, okay, so I didn't know off the jump that they were fighting in San Diego. I thought it was going to be an apex. So just the crowd alone made this card feel like the energy. And when these two fighters fought, we had uh, Nate Lanford, Nate the Train Lanford versus David uh, Omanaha. Uh, I mean, that fight was amazing, bro. I don't know who David was going into that fight. I think I might have seen one of his fights. Um, but I know who Nate the Train was, and that dude is a bang. I mean, whenever he fights, he just, like, dude just can't stop. He's always bleeding every one of his fights. His, like, blood's dripping down nose broken just this guy is a dog and he brought that to this fight i mean going into that first round man he got dropped and then the second round he just dominated you could tell david uh was he was defeated i mean he was tired he was tired all through those rounds uh the second and third round he there he was exhausted and you could tell that nate he was like not giving up you know he had a couple of submission attempts that he couldn't pull off but i mean he was in the fight you know, it was probably it was a it was a crazy comeback because that first round it looked like he was not like like that first round the end of that first I mean it looked like he was gonna end up losing like he was like oh you know this was gonna knock him out but dude Nate was a dog bro he just kept pushing forward you know got him down to the ground had a couple of submission attempts it was it was a crazy fight if you did not watch that fight go back and watch it man it was a banger moving on to the main event. The main fight that everybody was waiting for, Cheeto Marlon Vera versus Dominic Cruz. You know, I know Frank gave his uh, predictions on TikTok. If you guys are not, you know, you know, following us on TikTok, go hit that follow button. I'm going to put it up right here. Make sure you go follow us. Um, besides that, you know, Frank was like, I think Frank went with, um, I think he went with Cheeto. I'm not 100% sure. See, I'm messing up. But... I thought that I thought that Cheeto was gonna win too. So if he did go go with Cheeto, I agree with him. If he didn't, you know, I I don't know. Coming into that first round, Dominic Cruz dominated. He went in and was the old school Dominic Cruz that we knew. You know what I'm saying? He was dodging punches. He came in strong. He was like landing shots. Um, but one thing that I did notice is that that first round he did get dropped by Vera with a clean straight jab. And it seemed to me that every single time Cheeto would to to go hit him and it would hit him clean, he would get dropped. Um, and that's what happened in that first. And it also happened in the uh, third round as well. He hit him with a straight clean, straight clean jab and dropped him. Going into that fourth, I thought, man, I think he's gonna get his timing right. Did I think that it would happen how it did? No, I did not. He hits him with a clean head kick and knocks him out. It was crazy for Dominic Cruz to make that mistake, and he did it. He hit him with that right, that right head kick, head kick straight to the dome, and it was just lights out. 
I mean, Cruz when he was getting up, he didn't even know what what happened. He was like, so it was it was crazy, man. It was it, it that fight brought everything that I thought it would be, you know. And it's like to speak on this too. It's like, what's next? You know what I mean? What's next for Dominic Cruz? Is it retirement? Because you see with these old fighters, right? You see the same thing happening with Frankie Edgar when Cheeto Vera versus him. Cheeto Vera knocked him out. Same thing happened to Dominic Cruz. Knocked him out. All these old fighters are starting to get knocked out and taking all this damage. You know, it's to the point where, like, what's next for them? So, I don't know, man. Dominic Cruz retirement. Let me know what you guys think. You know, comment down below. We got some MMA news. MMA news, guys. Listen. UFC 281. We got Israel Asanya versus Alex Pereira. So it amazed me to this point that this man beat three dudes and now he's getting a title fight. That's how good he is. I'm not going to speak what I think about the fight because it's too early. But that fight's going to be a banger. And also, I mean, there's another announcement on that same card. McCann is going to fight on that card. And what happens when McCann fights on a card? What usually happens, guys? Patty the Batty fights as well. I'm just saying, is Patty the Batty going to be on the card at 281? And is it going to be stacked if it is? I'll answer that. Yes, it is. So stay tuned for that, man. That's going to be a crazy, crazy card, man. You know, we, I mean, possibly, possibly. Don't quote me, but if you guys think that Patty the Batty is going to fight on that card, let me know because that would be a banger card. Also, in other news, UFC is finalizing Yuri versus Glover um, for UFC 282. So, I mean, stay tuned for that. And also, bigger news on that same card, we might have Stipe versus John Jones for a co main event. I mean, bro, what? I mean, we have, if that happens, right? That is history in the making that is going to be next level do not quote us on this but this is just what we've heard from our insiders that we have that personally work in ufc yeah we know people that work there so uh <laughs> i'm just playing bro i'm over here tripping bro i'm not gonna stop with you uh but anyways possibly we might have john jones versus stipe on that co-main event for ufc uh 282 so stay tuned for that man we got some big mma news man i mean ufc it's a great time to be a ufc fan man and remember you don't always have to know everything you can always just be an amateur like me and frank anyways thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for you know checking us out make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell and uh if you like the content man you know comment down below Tell us what you guys think, and also show somebody, you know, share a friend. Share it with a friend. If you both like MMA, check us out. Thank you, guys. Peace.